Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a quick update video in regards to Marvel Strike Force's newest milestone and event here being Ego 1382. What a crazy week it has been, uh, especially with Black Cat's Legendary Unlock. Uh, hopefully you guys have had a chance to capitalize on her shards, but let's get right down to it. This is the last milestone that is going to be completing the rest of this TVA agent, uh, actually giving us the rest of these teal frags, as well as unlocking Sylvie's alternate costume. So having said that guys, um, this is our first opportunity to unlock those Ryder Robbery as but as well how do we actually partake in that because I know sometimes it can be mixed up with the, the communication here and how this events run we're here to break that down so um, if you actually hit the eye for additional details how we're going to be going through this is gaining progress through earning these Hellrider or fragments earned from the arena rank rewards in addition to spending arena credits on special milestones so um, essentially the bulk of it is going to be coming from the arena ranked awards this is a mechanic that's newer uh, the last time we saw this actually was with teen loki and generally very very free to play friendly guys so i had a chance to go through this already and review the numbers it's still looking really good but what are you going to be needing to aim for well first we need to understand how the points are set up uh, for this milestone scoring wise it's a one-to-one -one conversion one orb fragment equals one point so simple enough um, where we want to be aiming for and what i think most folks are going to be aiming for is milestone 14 uh it does have the uh the additional um reset charger that is going to complete the rest of the monthly event but uh a really important fact to know here guys is that we're not going to be unlocking uh this new ghost rider through the actual milestones themselves so for example we've seen in the past sometimes i think Fulton was one with the blitzing where you actually got her unlocked from uh actually partaking and claiming the shards from milestone well it's gonna be a mix the bulk of it's gonna be coming from the actual arena ranked reward so you can see here milestone 8 has five shards uh milestone 11 has another 10 so that's 15 right there um and then uh, you know you don't see the shards actually until a little bit later but whether or not these are achievable ultimately is going to be dependent on how well you do in arena in addition to claiming the additional uh milestones that we have available so a, a guaranteed unlock guys i think for, is uh reaching at least milestone 15 or 16 um not just because of the fact that there's some really nice juicy uh teal gear here obviously but there's a notable 25 shards right there uh which is huge and i think it's very very free to play friendly still but again it is gonna be dependent on where you rank so um these points are all gonna be one to one so let me show you where the bulk of it is coming from it's gonna be coming from how you're doing in your arena so if you head over to the arena and hit rewards uh what they've done is they modified this reward payout and now they've added these Hellrider or fragments as part of the reward. So for example, right now, um, let's just pretend the day is over. I'm gonna get my reward payout. They're gonna give, be giving me 8,000 raw points right there. If this happens for the next six days, uh, 8,000 times by six, you know, that's 48,000 points uh, straight, to my, uh, straight to my milestone, boom, I'm done. You know, that's how it's going to be uh, basically going to be building up the bulk of the milestone points. So uh, where's a good mark that you guys want to end up that gives you some pretty good wiggle space? I think anywhere between the two fit, the 101 range, giving us 7,000 points per day um, to even, honestly, I think it's even feasible with the 1500 mark uh, giving you 5,000 points because you know five times six would be 30,000 you know seven times six would be 42 so that's a really good range to work with because we still have some wiggle room so that's kind of what I would aim for if I were you guys and trying to at least get the the unlock here for you to play the other areas that we can actually add points from is from the web store milestone so the if you check marvelstrikeforce.com right now there is an ongoing milestone directly tied to earning war credits so how do you get war credits war credits are earned from battling in war uh, upon beating your enemies and as well as the uh the final payout that happens uh win or lose you get credits that's gonna be adding to the milestone you can also purchase the same credits as well if you head over to the war store scroll to the very bottom and the war credits is on the bottom left which i've done so this is my way every day of adding additional points for that and that is going to be funneled into a milestone that will add more points into 1382 the next component that we can also boost it up is going to be through the arena store which is left of the war store uh however they did confirm with a recent blog post that something's going on right now there is an issue so this is not live yet but typically uh if we have the opportunity here we should have been able to purchase uh the the additional milestone points here use it the war credit excuse me the arena credits that we have available so that's going to be that extra juice that we're going to get um because of the issue and timing um they did say they're going to provide a catch-up mechanic so that way we are going to be uh compensated for the missed time or maybe they'll get an additional occurrence of purchase here so that in essence is how we're going to unlock them guys uh once you get those fragments all that's going to add up i think you'll claim all the shards from the milestone themselves 
now it comes to the part where you actually get the shard. So if you head over now, I don't know why this is located here, but if you head over to the TVA gift shop for the monthly event, uh, that is, uh, it took me some time. This is where it's located. It's actually in this store, not the, the typical gold one we're used to seeing, but it is sitting in this TVA one uh, for the Hellrider orb. And then, then this is where what you typically be opening. So I took a look at this. And like I said, the way I mapped it out was if you look at this, um, the most common drop uh, and lowest fragment is actually going to be uh, the three fragments right there of 9%. But the good news is we still have a chance to get seven shards of 9%, 13.64% uh, chance for the four shards. Five, you know, like five and six are actually looking really good. So that's why I think a 40, 45K mark is really healthy and to ensure that you have it. But as, as well, uh, you'll be unlocking the three star of, uh, of Ghost Rider and some, right? So that little extra is always, always nice to have. So that's how we're gonna do it, guys. So again, um, just to reiterate, go back to the milestone. That's a good target, I think the one I mentioned uh, which is around not just uh, claiming the reset charge, but as well that uh, 39, 5,500 or the milestone 16. All those are really good to ensure that you are going to be getting that juicy teal gear as well as ensuring the unlock of Ghost Rider Robbie Ria. So good luck, you guys. Um, I'll catch up with you guys as always and catch you in the next one. Thank you for your support and take care.